Good riddance, you stupid Negro. Just as I expected. You burned down my house. What's your name? I'm Glenn Donnelly, and a member of the Aryan Brotherhood. I am thankful that Odin burned down your darn house. Just as I expected. Listen you troublemaker. You ain't going to get anywhere. May I introduce myself? I am Emmanuel Broadwick, an evangelist. I know my God wants me to forgive you, but I also feel convicted to teach you a lesson. Just as I expected. Another follower of this strange desert God who let his son die on the cross. Just for your information, Odin got off the cross faster. Amazing how many American soldiers died for Israel. Just for your information, I have many problems with the mainstream American church. The modern state of Israel is not the biblical Israel. All Christians are. Strangely enough, you are just like John Hadji. You believe that one race is better than the others. This is an emotional concept. God created every one of us in his own image. God is male and no part of any earthly race. Why should I believe anything you say? Just look at Black Lives Matter. Glenn, you will be surprised to hear that I happen to agree. Black Lives Matter does not care about black lives. They hate Christian values and encourage mothers to kill their unborn child. But how are you any different from them? You riot and destroy and claim to do it for your bloodline. In fact, many Zionists do the same thing. All this is nonsense. I hope you can wake up and see there is no superior or inferior race. Fine, but give me any reason to believe in a God who flooded the whole earth and had a son. And in an earth that is 6,000 years old and maybe even flat. It all makes no sense. Glenn, I can tell you one thing. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. I can explain to you though. The problem is that you want to know all now. I never said anything about the earth's shape, but yes, I don't believe in evolution. It is a fairly new theory about 170 years old. God did flood the earth, but he did it as a punishment and he also made the promise to not flood it again. You may not trust God, but I do. Okay, Emmanuel. I think I can understand your need for faith. But why do you need Jesus at all? Is he God himself or something? You nailed it, my friend. He is God and died on your cross for our sins. What do you think happens when you die? Keep in mind, you won't be living forever. You could have died during your assault but it was God's will to keep you alive. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. If I was you, I'd be thinking about it. Keep in mind that I'm ready to baptize. Keep also in mind it's the Christmas season. While this ain't the actual birthday of Christ, most churches celebrate it for him and sing carols about his birth. Have you seen the Charlie Brown Christmas special as a child? It's about Jesus reading the second chapter of Luke which describes the birth of Christ. He of course existed before, but this is how he became a man to save us from our sins. Anything else you have to say? I don't think I got any more arguments. This life I've lived this far must change. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, I am really sorry for the life I've lived. I confess that I judged people by the color of their skin, had sex with several women, smuggled, possessed and consumed drugs and cursed you. I want to live only for you now. I cannot save myself. I need all my sins to be forgiven and only you can do that. I trust you alone and fully and confess you as God the Son who died on the cross of Calvary. Be merciful unto me, a sinner. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood?